Good morning. Welcome to the select board meeting on December 5th, 2016 at 10, 11 a.m. Um, first item on the agenda is we need to vote for the award letter to natural bakers that should have been done a couple years ago and is going to be included in the packet to um, ask the governor to fix. But okay. we seem to have misplaced that. So Pat is going to get Sarah Bellino on the line and fax another one if she can't find it. Okay. We have a deed for the transfer of the brick building on Coates Avenue. Mm -hmm. Apparently you found in the files a check. I did. Give me five. Money. Money, money. All right. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Trevor. Trevor, Welcome. thank you. Okay. This is what you sent me. Yes. This is, um, okay, so this must, so this is what Sarah Bellino sent you, Pat? Yes. Okay. All right. So she's going to include this in the packet. I got to find a black pen. So um, I will entertain a motion. Oh, that's purple. I'm not doing too good today. Okay. Um, I will entertain a motion to sign the award letter to. Oh, I, I make a motion that we sign the award letter to New England Natural Bakers. Second. Second. Is there any further um, discussion? Um, my only question is that this is something that was to be done a while back, but it doesn't change any of the language of the agreement that was on. Okay. No, this is just, uh, it, it's part of the procurement process. Okay. That apparently was not done. All right. And um, so um, I think you better read the motion exactly the way it is. It looks like. Um, no, I don't think. Since, why don't you read the motion okay. and then we'll have you motion second. Motion I hereby move we'll that the board the reform the award of a contract for the sale of land consisting of 9.2 plus or minus acres, more or less, plan book 138, page 18, known as Oxford Pickle, located off Sugarloaf Street, Deerfield, in the County of Franklin, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, to New England um, Baking Company, and to issue an award letter to said New England Baking Company. Second. If there's no further discussion, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So, um, I don't think we all signed it, do we? Yeah. <clears throat> and then, wow, well, I'll sign it. And we all sign it. And then we're anyway. going to include it to the packet to the governor to fix everything mm -hmm. um, so that we can actually process the sale. <sighs> right over here. Yeah, I guess. I'll just have... Um, Do we have an idea of the timeline to get this uh, closed? Well, the whole, according to Wendy, because um, we had, you know, contacted Steve Kulik's office and Stan Rosenberg's office, and going through the legislature is a little bit slower because obviously it's the holidays, they're not in session. Right. So going through the governor, I'm, we're hoping that this can happen in the beginning of January. So, okay. And we, I, um, I never heard of any uh, even quasi firm date of construction, starting construction. There well, they're, they're ready to go as soon as we, it, it's been our fault that we um, have not been able to close on it. Okay. So the, uh, from my, my understanding is that they're ready to go. I don't know about the water, which way they've decided on the water, but okay. their, their intention is to move in this year. Great. I okay. mean, not this year, 16, but 17, 17 spring okay. of 17. So right. I'm assuming that if we don't get a lot of snow, that they're going to start construction right away. Right. So, but we when just... we went to close in September, as you remember, this came up. Right. So, so kind of I, I was hoping that I could move, you know, move for hopefully we can get everything done and and I don't want to have any hold up because I'd love to have them in there and start paying taxes. This and, was a you know, whole this point. has been a long, I long know. run, really long. Uh, granted, uh, initial hold up was there since mm -hmm. they got refinancing. Yeah. Um, had we known some of that would have we could have worked on it at the same absolutely. time. Absolutely. Yep. This didn't turn up until 
we actually went to go close. Mm -hmm. So um, part of this is, you know, we've been in transition, and so nobody's... Well, to... I mean, this is I, one of those I guess, things. you know, going forward, that it, it appears to me that even though that there were some omissions along the way, um, it seems like if our council would have prepared all of the documents for closing from she the get-go. This is a copy. It did. Well, then how come all these things were omitted along the way? I mean, how come they weren't discovered? Just you know? like the check being in the file for six months. Yeah, but if, if the attorney prepared all the documents for it, this would have been part of that. So it wasn't, it wasn't just the town's, the town's attorney. No, no, she, she, there, everything was sent. It was sent, Kip. It well, just didn't get happen in our office, okay. But shouldn't that have been part of the package sent to her? I mean, would, wouldn't she have known that? Well, we or, weren't closing on it because of, you know, she sent the stuff here. No, I, I understand, but I'm saying that part of the, the package that was sent to her should have been this letter that we're signing you know, the offer should have been signed. She wouldn't have asked for that? In the no, because it's, it happens in our office. The only reason they're getting this back yeah. is because, or getting this, all this stuff, mm -hmm. is because we didn't do it. So she's preparing the packet to go to the governor. Okay. This stuff is procurement process, okay. and it would have happened in our office, and it would have never gotten to the lawyers once, they've, once they initiated all the paperwork. It's in the file, and... It was, it's our problem to execute it and do it properly and make sure it's done. Okay. But it never got done. All right. And obviously, one of the things is we couldn't get it. It might have gotten done because it was a while ago, but nobody can locate it. So this was just a repeat of what was in the pa original packet. I mean, no, the original packet might turn up just like. The check. It could but. be in a file somewhere. Yes. Hmm. Okay. But, we, you know, we had people filing stuff and, you know, new people that might not have re realized what was going on. When we get to a place. I mean, we had Kat here for a while. We yeah. Had, we had different people working in the office. I mean, we've had three different town administrators. When we get to a good place shortly, hopefully, I'd love to do that reorganization of our files. And yes. get rid of what we don't need, get online what we can. Yeah. I know King, King Associates getting or on, something does yeah, this. I, I was just going to say, getting online is, yes. everything online is really important. At least important. going forward, and yeah. then we can work backwards. But it, yeah. I just, yeah. Bar <clears throat> Excuse me, Barbara showed me a packet from that King company. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if that's their name. Um, and it seemed to be, you know, very interesting. I don't know what the cost is, but uh, maybe we should do a little research and invite them in to give us a quick lowdown and and move in that direction because I don't think it was a whole lot of money and boy that organization could save us a lot yes and especially towns. going forward with the new um, what's open, that word? open meeting law not the, the uh, law but the modernization the requests the, for yeah. information information requests yeah. yeah so we could just say to someone okay you can find that online and it would save us immensely I know yeah. mm -hmm. it would good I'm I'm for the budget that this year we're not able to yeah. I mean, there's nothing we can do about it. It's yep. water over the bridge. Mm -hmm. This is stuff, the kind of stuff that was driving us crazy. Yes, it and is. that's why we're moving on. Yep. Okay. Um, so we need to sign the deed for the brick building. Um, I don't, I don't have, have that. <clears throat> well, Pat, do you have the deed? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So... You want to make a motion? Okay. Uh, do you want me to read this? Yeah, I guess we better. Okay. Approval of conveyance of town land. Pursuant to the authority granted in Article 7 of the special town meeting held December 8, 2014, and every other authority uh, appertaining, we, uh, the undersigned Board of Selectmen of the, of the Town of Deerfield, hereby approve the conveyance of interests in land located at 10 Coates Avenue, Deerfield, Massachusetts, to JVJ Realty, comma, LLC, by deed dated um, and recorded herewith in the Franklin County Registry of Deeds. So I'm assuming it will get done today. Mm -hmm. so, well, but yep. 
It, it's the conveyance of the property at Costa Avenue, just mm -hmm. to be clear. Yep. And I'll second the motion. Okay. Is there further discussion? None. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. And this is a, a motion here. Maybe we should. Oh. Oh. Let me read this motion. Yeah. Um, before we finalize, moved um, motion for the board of selectmen authorizing the sale of and execution of any documents necessary for Coates. 10 Coats Ave, Deerfield, Mass, Hi. moved that the board vote to approve and authorize the sale of 10 Coats Avenue, Deerfield, to JVJ Realty, LLC, conveying the town's interest in the property there, said conveyance authorized by Article 7 of the special town meeting of the town of Deerfield held December 8, 2014, and execute any documents necessary to... Uh, Effectuate, effect, effectuate <laughs> this sale, including uh, but not limited to the purchase and sale agreement and deed, which shall be in the same form as now presented to the board, and to direct all board members to execute same. So, motion. I mean, second. I'm gonna have a second on that. Second it. I thought we just did that. No. Yeah, but we're. Uh, it's a new motion. Oh, new motion. Well, the same. We voted this the property and now we're voting this motion just to cover our bases. Okay. Um, if there's no further discussion, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So um, let me just mark this down. So let's sign this and, and then, then. This was me and then, I don't know if you want to fill yeah, that out. Yeah, why don't you, it's Trevor and then Kip. And then we'll get this sent off to the lawyer. Um. How are you? Okay, we don't have the this pet put down the collective bargaining. Not the salary. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. We're going to vote to go into executive session next. But we are going into executive session for a reason of consideration um, to discuss strategy with respect to salary. Um, she's got collective bargaining and litigation down here. Okay. Um, I don't have my um, executive session cheat sheet, do you? I do not. It's, okay. I can go get it. All right. We're, we're going to have to look at the different. Okay. Put a date in there. No. Huh? Let, let Pat run that over to um, Barbara because I just want to make sure. So Barbara, Barbara's our notary. So I think I saw her this morning, but I don't want to. She's pay. here. Okay. Okay, and we found the check, so that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Was there a particular reason that wasn't deposited or just an oversight or? Filed? Yeah. It's just filed in the file. I mean, sometimes, you know, you hold deposits like that until the actual closing anyways, so. I know, but we couldn't find it, so 
I don't know. Uh, Trevor, Trevor's the one that located it, so I don't know if it was filed in some other way. You know what, Trevor? I need your signature on two more things. Okay. Did so, you get the cheat sheet one? Well, this is uh, something else I have. Um, oh, right here. Preparations for negotiation. Oh, yeah. This is the one right here. Contract yep. negotiations. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Um, I make a motion that we enter into executive session as allowed by MGL uh, 30A 21A2, which is to discuss or to conduct strategy sessions in preparing for negotiations with non-union personnel or to conduct collective bargaining sessions or contract negotiations with non-union personnel. Second. Okay. Um, so let me just write this down. I made the motion. And it's reason number two. Um, A2. 2A2. Okay. Um, and you second it, Kip? I, I second it. Oh, yep. okay. Okay. All those uh, individually, you have to say. I, McDaniel. I, Henry Camosa. And I, Carolyn Ness. Okay. Welcome back to the December 5th, 2016 Select Board meeting. Unfortunately, we were unsuccessful in um, negotiating a contract um, for employment. So, um, Jonathan, you're up next. Kip has exactly like five or six minutes. So, what would you like to show us? Um, Trevor has a few more minutes than that, but um, you had talked to, apparently you've talked to Kip a little bit about this. Ambulance service go down there, go down the other six acres, north of the fire department. I contend that you now have to, you should take that right of way and so the town it, should take the right. Well, it, is, it, was, it was originally a beat. The beat originally filed for that whole access road. All these paperwork refer to that as going to be an access road. The town has never taken it. They've never taken that right of way, okay? What, what has happened is, is uh, and I'll show you the old history in the, in the file, which I've done before. Yes. Um, well, to me, but that's why I wanted you to show Trevor and Kip. Right. Okay, so, so originally that access was, the break in access was supposed to be north of where the fire department is now. It was way up north of that, okay? Mm -hmm. And where they put the access, which made sense. Across 116. There was actually a ditch there that was in the deed to remain open. So, I mean, forget all the violations. I don't want to bring up all the stuff that I fought over over the years. The fact is, is that I bought that property with the idea of the light and being able to use it and develop it. And what ended up happening is after the fire department, I went to the fire department first and said, do you have any trouble with me buying this because it was allowed to be business? No, when I bought the second house, they put the guardrail up. So personally, they put up the guardrail to block me from getting a driveway off that entranceway. Because the right of way, which was Beats, which I don't know how familiar you are with the, with the, with the land there. Not tremendously. Okay, so. well, I'll, I'll show you plenty of photographs. Um, the, the, uh, was to service four buildings, two to be serviced by rail, through north of the fire department. That's what that intent was, okay? In the meantime, what they've done is, and there's a big plan, if you go to beat, there's, there's plans of it. Um, the, uh, uh, what they've done is they posted the, my, the, the easement as a fire lane, which it's not, but they posted it as a fire lane. People still can go through there. They've been able to go through there forever. All you do is stop at the stop sign, and then the gate comes up and you can keep going. So my contention is that they, they, all they've done is they've, they've attacked me personally by putting up the guardrail to stop people who are always driving through there, and so I can't develop that. And now, if you're going to put the, the fire, if you're going to put the ambulance service there, which, by the way, it was 
donated to the town for recreation. Now we took it, that was the intent of B. Mm -hmm. We took it as a DPW and recreation. So the, the, I'm, not, I'm not questioning the moral code of the town or what we've done or not done, but the fact is if somebody gives you a piece of land for the intent, you know, we should, we should honor that. But I, I, I don't think that we're never, I mean, recreation was never off the table, Jonathan. Uh, no, I know, and, and it's not, and it's not, and I've been fighting it's for years. It's still not off the table. Well, it, and, and, it's, and it's, actually it's, the Carolyn, SCEMS Carolyn, building, Carolyn, yeah, but the I, SCEMS building is gonna have less impact than the DPW building. No, no, I, I understand that, and Carolyn, so, you know I started the rec department in town. I, know, I was a citizen I petitioner. I have never been allowed to get on the rec department. So this board has kept me off that department. I'm done with the rec department. I'm not fighting that battle anymore. That's not why I'm here. The rec department has never made any efforts to utilize that six acres for politics. So that's, I'm not worried about it. What I'm saying is if you're gonna service three other towns by putting a, by putting a building there, that, that should open up, that's gonna open up to other people from other towns to use it. And so we ought to do it. Also, if you look at the permit. Do you have a map of the property there? That says the original permit was to service the fire department only. And all this refers to is access roads. Roads, not, not anything other than that. And I don't think it's a special town meeting issue. I, I think it's a town meeting. Well, Jonathan, I, I, I think this is a public safety access. There's always been discussion of public safety access. And the, the ambulance has always been operating out of the South Deerfield Fire Department. I so I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the we're original not, permit was issued to the town. We're not talking about any more use or a different use at the, all. The original permit was issued to the B company for a road. It was, it was to access the road. That particular piece was sold off and given to the fire department, and the state was Something saying it's only access to the fire department. Line Any further here. use requires no. another another permit. Oh, the whole thing it cuts back here. Yeah. And where's so his property? It's wet. His property is right here. And what's he? And he has access. Jonathan, once you come over here and just show just where the gate is and where you wanted access, there was some question. Just so I'm not giving Trevor misinformation. So this house has access, what, to this road? And then where does this house have access to? Well, they both come onto this. Oh, this there. is a road here? Okay. Right. So this is the, this is the road. And what B did, when they had all this property, is they came through, they, they, they got a right away from this person. Mm -hmm. And they came through, and they were gonna service all of this. Was, there was two service by rail mm -hmm. in this. And I'm saying is, that this property, is on the right of way. Right now, your cars come out here. They have. To. Okay. Well, they don't have to because they, this is just a gate. They just go through the and they gate. stop here, and the gate opens. Yeah, of course, and this they go both ways. I did it this morning just to mm -hmm. prove that it still works. Okay. And it's always been. I mean, if you look at the old maps, there's always been that. It was a ditch here. I'm curious. I just want to see. Yeah. So this is an old map. Ah, oh, that's an old aerial photograph. Okay. Now, if I'm understanding this right, Jonathan, it says that the, that the no, access, no access designation has never been lifted or never been changed. Well, not really, this. because, well, but you cite this, but right here, two different places, it says the no access designation has never been changed. And here it says no access, it's never been changed. But so there's no access anyway. No, no, they haven't. Because, because what happened was, originally, originally the fire department was to come here. If you look at the, if you look at the numbers, that was on, on the maps. That's when they were supposed to come in. They actually came in. Right there. Way. So they had to change the no access. And there's there are other paper. I mean, my files are sick. So they, they changed and amended it so that they did have a break in access here. If you follow the trail. This, this. Is that particular building? That's not there anymore. Yeah, that's, that's the house. This is the, this is the, this right here. Yeah. And nickel type. And this, this was the old drainage ditch, which has been filled in. Yeah. This has all been filled in. This is, this is in the deed to remain open. And there's a deed that says this remain. Yes, that's not correct. Right, but it's, we didn't fill it in. But I'm, but I'm, but I'm, 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 I
I've got a couple suggestions for you because the road he's showing you, I personally put that road in there. <laughs> okay. The little, let me just go, and you can correct me. Where's the area? I, I, here it is right here. I built this house in 1964. I put that access road to the farm field here in 1964. This was a drainage ditch that deeded. It goes all the way over to here. Drainage ditch here, drainage ditch there, okay? This is where you need to go, okay, from a zoning standpoint. You need to go first with the state. You cannot give driveway entrances with X number of feet from a state traffic light. That's the first thing that has to be done, okay? The second thing that has to be done is that you need to clarify through the town attorney what that 60 feet is for, okay? If it's a private way for the town to use, or if it's a, you know, if it's going to- Well, the deed is pretty clear. It's just, it says it's an easement. Okay, so <clears throat> you can't give a driveway act, nothing, not to say he isn't entitled to it, but you can't give a driveway access without going to the state. Well, uh, yeah, we Anything can. Else. We know Nothing. that. No. And the state number, I believe, to be 150 feet. So you need to go from the state boundary line in 150 feet and then start talking. That's so, if the state will allow it. So where's 150 well, what, feet I don't get, from? What's your point, though? The point is, you just can't willy nilly blow a hole through there and say you're through. Well, who's saying well, 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 but, but, but they're doing it on Elm Street. And, no, I'm not saying they're doing, they're doing it on Elm Street. You can only answer for one section of town at a time. Okay. Well, okay. uh, no, I'll, I'll and, see. You know, with, with, with and you need to get a legal with the Indian. But that's the, that's but the state, like that's not us. Uh, the state's giving them the access, right? Not us. But, but, but coming with the, the exit out of there. Right, but, this, but it's just not us. It's but, the state. No, no, I'm talking about the I'm talking about the main road. It's well, not a. The state is dictating that, too. That's right. The state dictates. That's the state not us. When you come to a four-way intersection, the state dictates all four right. directions. Yes. This is what I'm saying here. The state's going to dictate that fourth direction. Right. So you and need they, they have, they've had no, if you look at my letters, they have no trouble with it. No. You need to have a current driveway entrance right. in the state. Great. You have to you go to the state. To apply. I, I, I have a and, and if I, you've asked me to have a break in access here, here, here. You've I've applied for over here. Right. I'm talking about going into the fire station. No, I'm going into the right of the town right of no, You still don't get it. No, I don't get it. There's a traffic light. Yeah, the road goes four ways. I don't care who owns the road. The state has entrance requirements. No, I understand that. And, 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 and the, fact is, is the, the fact is when the circumference of the of the entrance goes in front of another uh, private road, a private uh, resident, they're supposed to get the person's permission, which they didn't. You are correct. Thank you. I've done my homework. You've Let done your homework. You. you are correct. And you know what? So everyone's in violation here, that including is, the ditch. That is so, correct. So, so, so all I'm saying is. So I should, then, I should say I want the ditch to put back in the deed. I personally put the pipe in there. I know you did. Okay, but you didn't get there. a permit for it either. You didn't have permits back then. Listen. <laughs> No, I want to, no, that's, so what's the next step? Yeah. What's the next you step? You've got to go to the state? Is that the no, idea? I'm just, I'm just, Kip is leaving. Kip, Kip is leaving in two, two seconds. Oh, so I, I, I still fail to see what, what is it that you want the town to do. I want, I want, a, I want an entrance. I don't want, I don't, I want to we don't, 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 don't have that authority. We don't have that authority. That's what I'm trying to say. I know. Why okay. Because it's a state issue and we don't own the land, do we? We don't own the land that's part of it. No, we don't. We at don't this own point, the right we don't own the right okay. away. So, right so how are you going to get? So how are you going to get um, the fire? How are you going to get the ambulance service there? Without, we We're going to use answer. the right away because that's what it was intended for. It was no, it wasn't. That that. No, it was intended for to, to access the, the land. The, the land for the development. So the right away is listed on the tax package belonging to the fire department. Correct. So all you need is a permission, permission from that. Correct. No. If you look at the deed for that six acres of land, it gives the, the, the town the right to use that right-of-way to the highway. That's what I it says. See that. I read it wasn't. Yeah. 
Yeah. But, but, but the state hasn't given you that. I, I, again, so I just think you've got to get all the facts together. That's the release of the year. Thank you. Well, well, um, We'll have her no, check, me. That's make sure it's on the deed, the, the, the right of way. Ask them. We have access I don't know to the right away. Well, the What's that? We have, we'll check with Lisa Mead to make sure that the we state have says access to the right of way. Okay. We don't road. own the right of way. Correct. But we so have just access you put it to it. There, and the, My belief. You can't overburden a right of way without specific permission. Right. From the owner. Okay. My belief is that we, we have the right of access on the deed, but I will verify that. That's what she said to us, right? Yeah. We looked that into quite yes. a Yeah. Okay. I'm going to leave you alone. Good. Um, Thank you. No, that's okay. Jonathan, I, I, I think Dick, so Jonathan, if he wants to pursue this, has to go to the state for permission for a well, driveway, I, right? I, I, and they said to go to the fire department. So the state's not willing to give you an access? No, they say go to the fire department. But they have the and authority. The They're the authority. Oh, that says no. The fire department put up a guardrail, which wasn't right. there before. There was no guardrail there before. OK. Mm -hmm. You want to see a photograph? No, no, I believe you. OK. So, so, the guy, so, so they, they put it in to block me to be able to develop that first property. It was a personal attack. Now, I understand they wanted to stop people that were drinking going through there, and they did that, but... But you, if, I mean, if I'm understanding this right, the guardrail they put up is on their property. No, it's on the easement property. Well, yeah, it is on their property. If it's, it's on, on their property, yeah. So they're See, blocking your easement, the town's easement, or the, the easement for the... For the uh, fire department. For the fire department, or, or anybody else that wants to use it. I mean, they put. They put it. They, either way, I mean, it, it, right. But I'm just trying to figure out how's the legal way of you getting them to move it. If it's on their property, how do you get? How do you it's move on the it? town's easement for the right of way? It's, it's on, on the their right of, right of way over there. We don't own that. We don't know, own that. I know. I know. You don't own the land, but you own the right of way. You can't block a right of way. No, I don't think we own the right of way. We have access to the right of way. But we have. But when I say we, the town has the right to use that right of way over there. Where you're talking about is on the other end, is on still, the south. Still uh, to the east. I, I get that. But where, like, if you owned the, the land that you own, does it say in your deed you have a right of way down through no. there? No. All right. But see, the town land does say that in your right. deed that we have that right of way. So your problem, as far as I see, is you don't have written access to that right of way. And but but it was there for over 20 years. And well, that's not a point it. that you could argue with us, though, Jonathan. I don't see that. Well, I, you know, I, 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 I understand the prejudicial nature here, but it's going to make. Well, well, the only thing I can do then <coughs> to create the value is to now is now say what you're saying is I should now go back to the deed and say I want that because the house floods, which Dick will tell you, yeah, because of that, yeah, because they ruined the drainage there, yeah, is to get that ditch back to put back, and then there was I, then I then know. and. It also says, which I showed you, yeah. it says that, that has to be a road. It was it's access only. The state gave that access the intent. Did you see that? Did you read yeah. that? It says, for the fire department only, any additional, any additional use requires another permit. That's right in the beginning. You also are aware, right, that the beat company originally filed for this. this John, not, would not you mind if he took a copy of that? I, I, I think you should get the lawyer to do all that. Don't worry about what I because I don't want to I don't want to purchase. I'm going to give it to you if you want. Well, I just I just wanted to know who to contact. It. That's all I want. Well, it's just a. Uh, Let me I'll phone yeah. Oh, okay. okay. All right. But Let me just go of, through. All of the documents refer to that as a road. It's a, the intent was to be a road. See, we've never accepted it as a road. The town. But even if it was accepted as a road. That all goes in front. How would that affect you, though? Because now that, that I have access on Town Road. But you, it wouldn't, no, you road. couldn't do that because you still have to deal with 150 feet. Because no, that's all all that, that's, I'm, I'm way past that. It's 90, it's 90 feet I there. Know. There's 90 feet there before coming off the road. I've been through this. I, Jonathan, I'd love to. I just don't understand it. I don't. You know, I'm no. not trying to play anything. I, I think you need to hire a lawyer and talk to. I've done so. I've been through all this. I don't know. It's a political. It's a political sham. 
I don't. It I is. can tell you, Trevor and I and Carolyn, we have, have no, no issues with this at all. Well, I don't know why you think it's a political sham. We have absolutely no issues with this. I just don't see any. I don't know how to help you. <clears throat> I just I don't know any way. I mean, even even if it's accepting the road would help you, we don't have that ability. That's a town meeting thing. You have a town. You can take that as a town road. No, absolutely. we can't. The town has to. Right. That, that's it's what I'm saying. Well, you can you can go. Like I told you today, you can go over there and get uh, a petition, for, put the article on the town warrant. I don't know if you can do that if, if it's an easement that goes through there. Yeah, I don't, I don't know either. That's Thank why you. I'm telling you, you need a legal. So was that's why I keep saying you need a legal opinion. Well, I'll like on whether that can be a public road or not. I don't know if it doesn't necessarily help him at all. No. But when we spoke to the, the, you know, the lawyer about the access for the ambulance thing, it, it was not a problem. That's all I can tell you. Mr. Yeah. Planning Board member, what about driveway access from a planning board standpoint for commercial property? It doesn't have frontage on the road. So, yeah. Hey, I'm Call usury frontage. Mm -hmm. Aren't we dealing with that up on mm -hmm. what's in the road? We're dealing with the same thing. Pretty much so. so. But the, the, the problem here is with him, he doesn't have a deed, he doesn't have anything in his deed saying that that is his that's, right of way. That's, but, you know, so that's, I, I, that's where right. he's trying to go is he trying to go that he wants an easement onto a public road. Right. right. What I'm saying is by zoning planning board rules, you can't give him an easement right. unless it is a public road. Right. And that's what you need for a legal opinion. Right. So and right, I, and I am I correct? That. I agree with that. I think I'm agreeing with that. I think I think and I'm saying is if you're gonna now put the ambulance service there. It's called it usury frontage. It needs to be a town road. Because now you're servicing three towns. You've got people from coming in from all over that are gonna be coming to meetings there and gonna be having things there. Well no, because there's not it's just gonna be a house for the ambulance. People aren't gonna come there. I mean it's the same it's, use actually. Yeah. Same use. It's already existing. Yeah. It's pre existing use. Right. Well, no I mean, change. the ambulance There's has no been there. Use for the there. town now, it's going to be three different towns. But there is a change of use on his property. Right. Okay. Correct? Um, can I excuse myself? Yes. Because no, you're going to commercial. Yeah, I understand totally. Okay. Right. But Trevor and I will use. adjourn the meeting. Oh, thank Kip, thank you for coming. Are you adjourned? Yes. Um, well, we're going to adjourn when, Kip, uh, when Trevor comes back, we'll adjourn. Not if he's gone. Okay. Jonathan, I, I I understand your frustration, frustration, but I also want you to understand that I believe it's not a change in use. It has always been public safety, and it's it's not it's not changed. Carolyn, Carolyn, it's, it's, you're going to have three towns service on that building. I understand this. I'm not. I'm not I know, against. But it. I, I'm, I'm for it. I'm I'm all for it. Don't get me wrong. I'm all for it. I I, I do have an issue with the fact that. We should have, I think, honored the gift as, as we haven't done in other parts of the town where the land was gifted to us. That's just a different issue. That's, that's a morality. There, there was, I know. There's no deed to restriction. No, the, no, no, highway to garage, the highway to garage did not work out there. There wasn't enough space because it was too wet. No, I understand. The SCEMS um, housing, the ambulance housing, is much smaller footprint. It has less impact on the land. And, and, and so and actually there, there will be that. more, there will be more ability to have recreational use there because we'll use less i mean the footprint is very small they don't want they don't want the recreation nobody wants rec to go there um well i'm i'm, I'm not going to comment on that no. because well, i think it. it's perfect for fields of course it is so it i mean it's already flat and right. you know it's minimal right. stuff so um did you, so you I, I back, didn't want to huh? cut you off on um, if you had further just no, interest. I'll, I'll take one copy. You have my copy? Oh, I gave it back oh, to you. Okay. I gave it back to you. I just have our copies. Um, I, th I thought it was significant to, for us to have this. And yeah. we can just oh, I think it's, it's, if you go back in history, if you go back in history, all, all, of, the, the, all of the state uh, or most of the state paperwork refers to that having to become an access road. The intent was to be a road, and that clearly is an earlier version of the of it says if there's any additional use going to be a part of this access, 
You need to go to the state yourself. Forget me. You need to do it. I, I think it's a matter of interpretation. I, I, there's, no ex, there's no change of use and there's no increase in use. We, we have the ambulances. Both ambulances are there already. That's, that's you and the state. That's not me. I'm yeah. not, I mean, I'm, I, I, mean I don't, I don't think the state is going to have any issues at all. Oh, they probably not. Um, I mean, the ambulances are already there. They have been operating out of the okay. South so, Deerfield. So you're saying and the that, volume you're is saying not I'm changed. supposed to become a real pain and go back to the deed and say I want the ditch because it was supposed to remain open. Jonathan, it's... It, no, no, I, in my deed. In, my, in the deed it says that ditch was supposed to remain open. It's been filled in. And, and I understand that. But that's not the Board of Selectmen's... I mean... Well, who do I go to for that? We wouldn't make a recommendation on whether how you should act, right? No, no, but, oh. but who would I go to? Well, uh, the Conservation Commission deals with I water issues. And they, and they told, uh, what was your, have you gone to the con conservation? Oh, well. And, and, and do you want me to take you around town on people on the committee that have, or past people on the committee who have filled in wetlands? Um, Come on, Carol. Jonathan, right. I'm not I, going I know, to it's comment. a losing battle. I just wanted to point out it's inconsistent and it's unfair, and you know it. I, I, I realized that you have been treated unfairly. And I've been treated unfairly. Okay. Yes. And, and all they had to do was tell me they didn't want me to do it, and I wouldn't have bought those two houses before. That's all they had to do was be honest. What, were you, what are you trying to do there? I'm, I'm it was zoned for a deli. Originally, my thought was to put a deli there, hire a bunch of the kids, make it a nice, you know, place for people to go, it creates some employment, mm -hmm. and it would have been great. And this is the house on the corner? You, you I own both those houses. The house on the corner yeah. and then the next one that you right. can't really see from the road. Right. And then you would turn, what, one of those into it? Or? Yeah, you just, well, well, success means you need parking. Oh, I see. So you take out one, I see what yeah, you mean. Yeah, you put and one right you put, there. I mean, put it was, was going to be a plan. Yeah. yeah. So. But a good plan. The, well, yeah, and, yeah. And, and the only reason I don't gripe about the fire lane is because the town has to, the town continues to plow. And your, that's your how your driveway, you mean, or the, yeah, the, or the it's a road, lane. or it's a road, which is a legal fire lane. But yeah, they plow. Hmm. Always have. Yeah. To access those two houses, there, there's a lane. Okay. To access to, to access the fire department. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh yeah, they were planning for years. So is that not a legal town road? No, it's not. not. It's not a legal no. town. It's a, it's, a, it's a right of way that was granted, and and, uh, and people have used it for years. Yeah. I mean, there's more than a 20-year history of people using the right of way and going through and sending it onto the five and ten. I know, and that's why they put the gate up. Well, it still doesn't doesn't stop anybody. I know. You still can do it. So I mean, it, okay. the, the president's, it, it, you know, the law says if there's unimpeded access, right? So what you're pointing out here is that we would need to check with the Massachusetts Environmental Policy Act, MEPA, well, I, to, to I think put on. Well, no, there's a lot of documents that say that the state says if there's any more activity there. Because remember, the beats we're going to put for this was a gift. The, the, basically, beat originally was the filer. They paid the fee, the original permit fees, for this. For that property. For the property. And then what they did in the, in, fairly soon afterwards was they turned it over because they knew they could get the break-in access from the state if they gave it to the town for a fire department. That was the political leverage. The, the access was way north, was at the end of that that's where the real, that's where they were permitted to break an access. But they didn't. They came down to 160. To be right across from And went right across. Filled in a disc that was deeded to stay open. None of which I care about. But that's what they did. So there's a series of things that they shouldn't have done. You mean the state? No, no. We did. Oh. The fire department did. Oh, yeah, but not we. The no. fire district. The fire okay. district did it. Yeah. Not the town. And, and, the and, and then everybody worked around it. But it's all hand in hand because everybody's in the same... I mean, Kevin Scarborough, he, he, when I signed a petition to put a deli there, for, uh, uh, and, and, and he signed it. He didn't have any problem with it. Right. But now he's on the Prudential Committee of the Fire Department, so what's he going to say? And he's, he's the guy that gives the permit now. Hmm. I mean, he and I have no problem with it. It's just it's political. And it stinks. And yet, you know, you, 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 listen, 
you're not allowed, if you do your homework, which you can do between 5 and 10 in the entrance of 160, from 160 into a state highway, there's not allowed to be entrances there. But Brett's got an entrance there. I don't care. But you're not allowed to have, that's a federal and state highway there. There's no legal allowed entrances there. To where? To a, to a, Brett's. All the, the. No, no. The little Christmas tree no, no, no. Yeah, I mean, yeah, his, but, but, but that's the, but, 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 but federal and state law, it's a federal highway. That's federal highway there, state highway. You're not allowed to have any brakes, forget, farm, it doesn't matter. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. And it's also interesting that all up and down there, there was never signs that said no parking before. On that side of the On, the, on, five, on 116. Right. At least they were smart enough when they gave them the permit to put signs because people would go on that corner, especially track the trailers, and they would clip somebody's car. Yeah, it was right. parking. They'd have to pull in that parking. Exactly. And the state gave them permit for that cut. And they put those signs up. Yeah. Okay. I mean, so. Yeah, whatever. Hmm. I know, John. So now you know a good little know. more dirt than you want to know about. It no, before. that's always good to know. Good to be educated. Get in the car with me someday. I'll educate you. <laughs> I mean, all right. Get in the car. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank I'm you. sorry. It's, it's very frustrating, as you can tell. I know. I, I know. I, that's why I offered you the time. Yeah. No, I appreciate it. I, I was not. I mean, I sympathize with your frustration. I really mm -hmm. do. Right. And it. Well, it's unethical and it's immoral and it's not right. And it's not about money. It's about the way. And 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 you know. But what? I'm not going to agree with that, Jonathan. So. You don't have to agree with I it. I know. You don't have to agree with it because, but, but the rec department deserved, that was supposed to go to the rec department. But the rec department has never had any desire to go after that problem. Well. Thank you, John. Thank, Thank you. you, John. Good luck. Thank you. Bye bye. Um, so I will take a, a motion, oh, motion to adjourn. To adjourn. Okay, I second that. Second. Always a favor. Aye. Aye.